That same thing to figure out fuel. Your first category is rate of burn or gallons per hour time total fuel. So if your aircraft is burning 10.8 gallons per hour and you fly for 5 hours and 10 minutes, how much fuel are you burning? Now your speed index goes on the rate of burn. So you're doing the exact same problem, just a different title. 10.8, there's 10.5, 6, 7, 8. Find 5 hours and 10 minutes right here. And how much fuel did we burn? 56 gallons. On fuel, I want you to always round up to the nearest gallon. Okay? You always want to round up instead of round down. If you are doing a flight where you have five or six legs and you're rounding down on fuel, when do you think you're going to need that fuel that you've been rounding down on? On final. Your empty. Final approach. <laughs> the, only time you're, the only time you don't you have too much fuel is when you're on fire. Yep. is burning 12 gallons an hour. We don't know how long we flew, but we burned 220 gallons of fuel. So our speed index goes on 12. We're going to find our fuel on the A scale of 220 gallons. How long did we fly? One hour, 50 minutes. A what? An hour and 50 minutes? I don't think so. If we flew for, think about this. Here's where I'm talking about your answer has to make sense. If we flew for an hour and 50 minutes, we wouldn't even burn 24 gallons. This is the amount we burned. Okay? Here's the weakness. It is, but it might actually come out to be different. This computer's weakness is 10 hours. Anything above 10 hours, problem needs to be split in half and worked out that way. Okay? So it's going to be roughly 11 hours and 50 minutes is how long we flew. Nothing you are going to be flying in the near future has that type of performance duration. Now the last one, we don't know how long we flew, or we don't know what our rate of burn was, but we flew for 3 hours and 20 minutes, and we sucked up 316 gallons of fuel. Wow, sounds like a gas truck. <laughs> Man, you sure we weren't flying that new MiG-17? <laughs> We're flying something that you have to do a different weight and balance for takeoff and landing, because as you're flying, your wallet is getting so much lighter, it's affecting the weight and balance of the aircraft. <laughs> so speed index does you no good. We're going to find 3 hours and 20 minutes on the C scale, which is right here. And we are going to align that with 316 gallons. So roughly about right there. And what's our rate of burn? Ninety gallons an hour. Yeah, it's 95 gallons. 95 gallons per hour. <laughs> Think about that. At five dollars eighty-five cents a gallon. Oh my god. Actually, I think it's four seventy-nine right now. Okay. <laughs> we didn't buy it here. We bought it in San Francisco. Uh, we're just we're at eleven dollars a gallon. Yeah. Frisco, Frisco. 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 Frisco.
<coughs> you left off the fuel cap. Something's wrong Oops. with the middle one? <laughs> well, because when I just did use the calculator, if you pointed out about 12, it was 18 point something hours. What am I doing? Okay, so let's do this oh. one. Here, split this in half. 110. So 110. Okay, so now do the problem 12, 12 gallons an hour at 110. How long is it going to take you to burn 110 gallons if you're burning 12 gallons an hour? Nine hours in 10 minutes. Multiply that times two. 18, 20, roughly. So this is why anytime you're working a problem where your answer is going to be more than 10 hours, you need to split it in half because the flight computer just can't hang with you. So split one of your answers, do this one in half, figure out the answer, multiply it by two. But what does it mean? If it was 18 hours at 12 pounds an hour, that would be like 400 right? What is what is twelve times eighteen? Two hundred and sixteen. Sounds sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, there's you're not going to have too many times where you are working a problem where one of your answers is going to be more than ten hours. Okay. 